Hey Kelcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies and today we're going to be discussing 10 mysterious disappearances of people. Before we get into this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to some of my Patreons. We have Chris Negus, Pal Pow, Into the Void, Rock Evans, and Lisa's Life. Thank you guys so much for being Patreons and thank you to all my channel members. Big shout out to you guys. If you guys are a Patreon, you can now try out the demo version of a game that I am releasing. It's an app. It's available for iPhone users and Android users. Eventually it will be available on other platforms, but the game is not released yet, so you guys could be the beta testers of the first demo we have released. We'll be releasing other demos as well with updates, so make sure you guys are a Patreon so that you can go test it out. It's so awesome and cool, and I'm so excited. Big shout out to Hibby Games for helping me with this project. He has been working his butt off, we both have, and it is so freaking exciting. We got Chris Star, who is a character in my game, and there will be other characters available eventually. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into our first case. This first case happened January 12th, 1970, to a young girl named Cheryl Grimmer. She was only three years old when she went missing. She went missing from a beachside shower block. So what happened is she refused to leave the shower block. Um, I guess she was throwing a tantrum or something. She's only three. This caused one of Cheryl's brothers to go find their mother to help persuade her to get out of the shower block. When the brother with the mom returned, Cheryl was nowhere to be found. Many witnesses claimed that they saw a man in an orange swimsuit carrying a child with blonde hair wrapped in a towel. Way later on, on March 23rd, 2017, this man was found and he was arrested. He was charged with abduction and murder since Grimmer was never found. However, when this man went to court, the judge dropped all charges because there was not enough evidence to say that this man abducted and murdered this child. So this still remains a mystery to this day. What really happened to that young girl? This next case is with a married couple, Edward Andrews and Stefania Andrews, who were both 61 years old. This happened in Chicago, Illinois on May 15th, 1970. Edward and Stefania disappeared after leaving a party in the Chicago Loop. No one could find them and eventually the police theorized that they had just driven into a river by accident and both died. This was believed to happen in the Chicago River, but after years of searching in the river, they still have not found a vehicle or any trace of them. So it remains a mystery as to where they disappeared to. This happened on March 13th, 2000. Leah Roberts, who was only 23 years old, was going on a cross-country road trip. She originally lived in North Carolina, but she was headed up to Washington. A few days after she left for her trip, her car was found wrecked and abandoned. It was found off the Mount Baker Highway. The last place that witnesses saw her was in a local shopping mall inside of a restaurant. There's one witness report of someone seeing a woman disoriented at a gas station shortly after this car was found, but no one's seen or heard from her ever since. On March 24th, 1991, a young boy named Michael Dunahy, who was only four years old, disappeared from a school playground. This happened in Victoria, Canada. His parents were nearby the school, but there is no trace of him, no witnesses, nothing. This kid just vanished. I honestly think maybe he was abducted, maybe he was put into human sex trafficking. Unfortunately, a lot of people kidnap young boys and girls for that. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever know, but that's really awful and extremely sad. Let me know what your thoughts on that one are. This next disappearance really caught my eye because it involved three people. This happened on June 7th, 1992. Suzanne Streeter, Stacy McCall, and Streeter's mother, Cheryl Levitt, which are known as the Springfield Three, mysteriously disappeared from Levitt's home. Streeter and McCall had just graduated high school the day before. They had arrived at Levitt's home around 2 a.m. after a graduation party. Later, friends, family, and neighbors realized these three were missing. There have been no witnesses and no evidence as to where they might have gone, and there is no known reason why they would have run away. So what happened to them? 
Sometime in April in 1980, a woman named Louise Faulkner and her child, Charmian Faulkner, who was only two years old, mysteriously went missing. Louise had told her friend that she was visiting her boyfriend in Gippsland. Her and her daughter were last seen getting into a white vehicle. To this day, there has been no trace of them found. They were both pronounced legally dead in 2006 as no one could find them. So it's not sure if they're dead or if they're alive out there. I honestly think the boyfriend had something to do with this. July 28th, 1980, a man named John Favara, who was 51 years old, was the backyard neighbor of a Gambino crime boss named John Gotti. John Favara disappeared after he struck and killed John Gotti's 12-year-old son with a vehicle. This seemed to be on accident as the young boy darted across the street on his mini motorbike. After all this happened, John's wife and two sons moved out of Howard Beach. John, however, went missing mysteriously and was never found. He was later declared legally dead in 1983. I'm thinking that maybe he was murdered by the Gambino crime boss because he killed his son. I mean, that's definitely what I think, but you never know. On April 28th, 1979, Christina White went missing. She was only 12 years old. That day, Christina had attended a parade with one of her friends. She later returned to the friend's house feeling very sick. She called and told her mother that she wasn't feeling well, so her mom told her to ride home on her bike. Once Christina White left on her bike, she was never seen again. After not finding her, authorities later linked her disappearance with the Lewis Clark Valley murders, which still remain unsolved to this day. So they do believe that she was murdered, but there is no evidence to this. November 5th, 1979, Martin Allen, age 15, lived in London, England. Martin was last seen at King's Cross Station at 3.50 p.m. He went here after he left his friend's house to go to his brother's. Witnesses say that they saw a 30-year-old man with a young boy who matched the description of Martin. One witness actually heard the man tell the young boy to not try to run. This witness also said that the boy looked very scared. With that being said, there are many theories that Martin fell victim to a pedophile gang and was possibly murdered. I mean, if you guys see something, make sure you guys report it. I feel like this witness should have helped this boy, especially if they heard that and saw the boy was scared, I would definitely say something or report it. Even if you don't know for sure, definitely report that. I think that this witness could have done a lot more to prevent this from happening. And this happens all the time. People see something, but they don't say something when they should. And now this young boy is murdered or missing. On July 24th, 1997, Amy Rowe Bechtel, who was only 24 years old, left her apartment in Wyoming to go and run errands. The last known sighting of her was at 2.30 in the afternoon at a photo shop. This was the last confirmed sighting of her. It is believed that she left the photo shop to go visit Shoshone National Forest to check the course of a 10K race that her gym was planning on doing. At around 4.30 p.m., her husband came home and realized that she was nowhere to be found. After hours of not finding her, he alerted the authorities. They later found her white Toyota station wagon parked at Shoshone National Forest. But when they got there, there was no trace of her. So where did she go? She still remains missing to this day. That is all I have for you for this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do another video on this subject. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video.